On this soil, we uh, started, I suppose, three years ago when we first um, started renovating the soil with where I'm standing a, a, a complete rock sheet ironstone, which um, for any kind of farming you, you get zero benefit out of. You're putting lots of input into it, seed and fertiliser, and literally getting um, next to no return and probably also um, damaging a lot of equipment while you're doing it. So a lot of um, time and energy involved and, and, and a, a bit of an investment in money um, to make this soil type be converted to a, um, to a soil type that can be utilised. And also knowing the fact that uh, this soil also can have a bit of a potential now that we can use it. So phosphate, um, different rates of phosphate, if we get any benefit out of having a higher rate or, or also tapping into the unused nutrients that might be available. So reducing the cost of inputs by reducing the phosphate um, that we put on this soil. And that was one of my punts on this kind of soil, was hoping that we probably can reduce inputs by um, um, having soil that's never been utilised. Our regime of phosphates um, fertiliser is um, quite, a, quite a modest one. We, we're not a high inputter of um, fertiliser and, and we don't try to chase yield. We probably try to chase um, profit more. Um, so we're, um, we're, we're sort of six to nine units of P um, and we don't really go above that and we're not variable rate. So we're, we're sort of just a blanket um, across the farm. And um, yeah, just want to know that we can um, get a benefit out of a lot of work that goes into renovating soil types like this. So it's um, been a pleasure to see the trial on our farm from last year and this year and it'll be interesting to see the trial re results this year.